Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. This is a really impromptu video. In fact, after I filmed with Aquarius Rising Africa this morning, I've been outside most of the day, so I apologize if I'm not looking camera ready like normally I am, but I am just so freaking excited. I wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about 30 day challenge that I did a promotional video for yesterday and I was hoping after we I got off of Aquarius Rising Africa this morning I was hoping to get like at least a hundred people y'all we are close to 200 people right now in my inbox signing up for this shadow work challenge and I am the Lord and I'm just gonna tell you guys again so if you emailed me I'm keeping up with the emails but I'm not opening them yet because I don't want to lose track of who's been sent the schedule and who has not so towards the end of this week once I iron some stuff out with the template I will go through and send you guys all the schedule for the 30 days now once again if you don't want to be entered into the raffle for prizes if you just want to do this anonymously on Monday October 31st so Halloween day I will go ahead and post day one of the 30-day challenge which will be for Tuesday November 1 so you can follow along on my community tab the day before each challenge I will put the new challenge up for the next day but if you do send me an email at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com like the 200 people that already have done that um, you will be entered into a raffle for some really cool prizes. Um, Shanti uh, donated a course, one of her courses. Catherine Edwards has donated some of her courses. Uh, Stephanie Schapp from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening has donated two private tarot card readings. And I am donating a month, an interactive month for you, an M body. Uh, a website that's Marnie Alton's bar website where she puts a lot of extra practices and workouts up for you and so some someone will win those prizes and no not one person will win all the prizes but individual names will be pulled for all the individual prizes if that makes sense so yeah I will pull a name for the embody website and I'll pull another name for a tarot carving and another name for Catherine's course so I hope that makes sense and it will all be a raffle so it'll be um completely just luck of the draw all right but again as I say this the biggest reward is you doing this challenge so once again let me go through this this challenge is now going to be not only hosted by myself but it's also going to be hosted by all of our donors so spiritual perspectives of our great awakening with stephanie is also going to be hosting this as well as aquarius rising africa and as well as Catherine edwards because they're all the ones donating and so we're all going to be hosting this for you so let me go here and just show you guys again if you missed yesterday let's take a look here just you let's so you can see let me move this over here we go all right so for the whole month of november esoteric atlanta and steph and shanti and morning and Catherine will be hosting a global shadow work challenge this challenge will last 30 days and each day will hold a few activities for you to do to help you in your journey of self-healing self-discovery and self-empowerment i'm so excited that you have decided to do this please know that all of these activities are for you and your experience only no one will be watching you judging you or reading any of your journal entries this is simply a private experience for you and you alone since you have submitted yourself to this challenge your name will go into a raffle to potentially win prizes at the end of the month of november the prizes consist of access to workout websites tarot card private readings and courses three to four winners will be picked at random but the biggest reward of all seeing just how strong you truly are by doing this challenge for yourself it is recommended that the exercise portion of the daily challenge be done first thing in the morning before breakfast and before the start of your day but if that is not doable for you now you could do the exercise at whatever time of day works best for you please note that this challenge is merely a template of what you can do to jumpstart your shadow work with that being said if a day passes um, and you didn't get in all the activities, don't stress. You just start again the next day, picking up where you left off. Don't stop because you had one bad day. You're human and humans are resilient. All right, what you will need for the challenge is the internet, 
a journal and castor oil if you wish to participate in Friday night oil baths. So again, you might want to take a, a photo um, on day one of the challenge and an uh, after photo on the final day of the challenge so you can see how your body changed during the month. And this is for your eyes only. So these photos are not gonna be posted anywhere unless you post them somewhere. This is just for you. This is only optional. I, I personally advise against weighing. Weighing can cause an addiction to the numbers and numbers are just numbers. They do not define the internal and emotional work being done, but as always, that is up to you. And I really wanna stress that guys. I quit weighing myself when I was 27 years old. I'm 39 now and I just do not weigh myself because I know that there, for a lot of reasons, people could become very addicted to that number and that number is just simply a number. It doesn't define anything, right? So with pictures, if you take a picture of yourself at the beginning of the end, you can see the change, not just in like, if you've lost weight or not, but the more you exercise, the more you work on yourself, you're gonna see your skin start to change. You're gonna see a glow that comes about you that wasn't there before. You're gonna see a happiness in your eyes that wasn't there before. So by taking the, the before and after picture, we're not just looking to see if your body got smaller, we're looking to see other things too. And especially if you do the bonus activities of drinking 64 ounces of water a day, you're really gonna see stuff shift in your skin tone, the flushing of toxins, all that kind of stuff. So once again, let's review. So for Tuesday, November 1, the first day, 45 minute bar exercise, follow the link below. And this is beginner bar with Marnie, Marnie Alton. So Marnie Alton's website, her personal website is what one of the prizes will be for a, a month of having access to all of her, her workouts. And so when you get the template, you'll just click on the link and it'll take you right to this this youtube okay journal questions to ask yourself if you did this first thing in the morning how did it affect the rest of your day what was the experience of the bar class like did you feel any emotions come up in the class if so what were they can you explore those emotions more privately then turn off all electronics one hour before bed instead read a book or write more in your journal go to bed before 10 p.m and you're going to see why because on the first saturday saturdays during this challenge we are going to be self-study saturdays and the first saturday you're going to study the doshas because so you're going to know why i'm telling you to go to bed before 10 p.m when you do that self-study bonus challenge drink 64 ounces of water today to help you detox from the exercise so 64 ounces is about two liters i don't really want you going over two liters of water if you live in really hot hot climates and you're doing a shit ton of exercise, then maybe you can push it more to a gallon. But we want to be careful with overhydration because overhydrating can be almost as dangerous as dehydration. So 64 ounces, which is like two liters of water, is usually pretty pretty good for most people. If you're a meat eater, can you try to go without meat today? Replacing with veggies. Take a hot bath with salt before bed. Try to relax into the bath, allowing the muscles to unwind. Day two, you're gonna repeat the same exercise as day one. Now day two, there's a new, there's something new to the challenge. So during your morning shower, try to make the water cold for the last five minutes of your shower to help with inflammation and blood flow. So during the day, I want you to do research on cold or cryotherapy. I have a link here from Aquarius Rising or Solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa and myself or Shanti and I talk about this. And so you can watch that video again and I also have a link for Wen Hoff, cold shower tutorial for beginnings. Hold on one second, gotta let my dog out. Hold on. All right, go see, go see, go see him, go see. Okay. All right. Journal. So day two journaling questions to ask yourself. Were you sore today? If so, how did the soreness affect your workout? What emotions did the soreness invoke in you today? Did new emotions pop up today different from yesterday? If so, what were they? How did going to bed before 10, 10 p.m. affect your sleep and your day two of the challenge? What was the five minute cold shower like? Were you able to breathe through it? Is cold therapy new for you? During the course of this challenge, you notice how your body starts to respond to the cold shower. Does inflammation go down for you? Do you have more energy during the day? How does the cold shower affect your mood? List five things that you like about yourself. And then once again, turn off all electronics one hour before bed. Instead, read or write a, read a book or write in your journal. Same, same bonus challenges of the day before. 
All right, we get to day three. So you're gonna have some options now. 20 minutes beginner Ashtanga with Ashtanga nurse, here's a link, or guided half primary with Ashtanga nurse, here's a link. So if you're super new to yoga and maybe you, you're the whole half primary series is too much, you can just do the 20 minute beginner one, no problem. All right, take a cold shower again. More things now, more things to ask yourself about was the yoga different from the bar? How did your body respond to it? And um, at the end, you're gonna list five things you like about yourself and list three things you want to work on. And now today we have a new challenge. Look three people in the eyes and smile at them. All right, same evening challenge. Okay, so here we get into more options. So day four, you can either do the 20 minute yoga again or 30 minute bar with Marnie Alton. Or you can try to do them together. Once again, you're gonna have more journaling to do. And then you have a new challenge here. Do one thing today to help another person. This could be opening the door for someone or buying someone lunch, donating clothes to a charity, or simply telling someone how beautiful they look, etc. No kind task is too small. So when we say do something kind for someone, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money because money is tight for a lot of people. This could simply be you opening the door for a stranger or telling someone that they look really pretty today or complimenting their outfit, you know, just something nice for someone else. And once again, look three people in the eyes and smile. So Friday nights, every single Friday night, you're gonna have the option to take an oil bath. So here we go. For oil baths, place towels on the floor of your bathroom, cover your body in castor oil. Sit on the towels and slowly self-massage the oil into your body. The castor oil is used to pull heat and inflammation out of your body. Sit with the oil on your body for 10 to 60 minutes. If you're new to oil baths, only sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. After the time is up, take a hot shower to remove the oil and then get into bed. So this should be done right before bed. Your nose may run due to the heat removing toxins. You will sleep pretty hard tonight. Let yourself sleep so your body can heal. So if you want more information on oil baths, I did it. I covered it a while ago. I have the link here. You can watch that. And once again, you're going to be turning off. You're going to bed before 10 p.m. So the Saturdays, these are your rest days, okay? So rest day from exercise, sleep in an extra hour. If you can, Saturday self-study. You're going to research the doshas, pitta, vata, kappa. You're going to take notes in your journal about each dosa, what time of days are associated with the doshas, how does this affect your day, hint. This is why you've been going to bed before 10 p.m. during this challenge. Where do you see doshas in you? Where is it in your body? Where is it in your personality? And here are some resources to help you get started, some links to some shows that I've done. Uh, contemplation, think about the doshas today. How is this energy affecting you and your life? All right, we also now have sound bowl healing. So I also want you to do the sound bowl healing. Get comfortable, close your eyes, and allow the self sound to penetrate your body. You're gonna have more journaling to do. All right, Sunday fun day. So this is now you get to do 60 minutes sweating to the oldies. So this is gonna be a fun day of exercise. And once again, you're gonna repeat the sound bowl healing, do the cold shower, and you're gonna journal. All right, and so as the weeks go on, like this, okay, so the second week you're gonna have, you've now completed a whole week, there's gonna be a new challenge added. So you're gonna be doing the 45 minute bar again. And you can also add in the 20 minutes beginner yoga if you feel like you're fit enough to do that. All right, then you're gonna add in a 15 minute meditation. Now, you're gonna start, after setting the dose just for the first week, you're gonna add a food journal, okay? So since you're a week into the challenge, now you're gonna add a food journal on, onto your daily journaling. This is going to give you a better understanding of how the energy of food affects the energy of your body in order for you to find the best source for you. Write down everything you eat. 30 to 45 minutes after you eat, document how the food made you feel. Do you have any stomach discomfort? Did the food make you hot or cold? How did the food affect your emotional health? Do you feel anxiety or depression after eating? How do you feel or do you feel good and have energy? So this is gonna start now for the rest of the challenge from the second week on. You're gonna start journaling about everything you eat so that you can start to understand how the energy of food affects you personally. Yeah? Okay, more journaling, all right? And so now day uh, eight, you're gonna add in kickboxing. Try kickboxing. If kickboxing is too much, then I have another link here, all right? So yeah, if the exercise is too much for you right now, replace the kickboxing with the 45 minute bar. 
All right. So once again, you've got meditation, food journal, journaling, questions to ask. As you as you can see, as the weeks progress, there's going to be more and more and more stuff for you to think about it, about you. So self-reflection for your journaling, looking three people in the eyes and smiling at them. And it's going to continue to go. And as the weeks progress, again, you're going to have more options to choose which exercises you do because you're gaining more autonomy. Um, day 10, you're a third of the way through the challenge. You got this. Look how far you've come. So now you have a new challenge. If you don't make your bed up every morning, start doing it, that now. Um, new challenge. Your last meal should be, be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. This allows your digestive system at least 12 hours of rest between dinner and breakfast. And so that might be challenging for some of you guys, but it's super important. All right, and you're gonna have some options of exercise, okay? Some meditation. From here, you're gonna to start to be able to pick whether you wanna do sound bold healing or the meditation. Food journal. Look three people in the eyes and smile at them. Today I have, there's an old a friend or family member you've lost touch with. If so, send them a simple text or email telling them that you're thinking about them. You hope they're well and you love them. Please note, you can do this for multiple people if you want to. Well, this challenge is gonna feed into the next day because we're gonna see if anything came up for you for reaching out to somebody that you hadn't spoken to in a while, okay? So as you can see, some of these challenges will lead into the next day, okay? All right, now, the second Saturday, you're researching the chakra system, all right? For the first Saturday, you're researching the dose of second Saturday, the chakra system. And then you're gonna do a 60 minute um, chakra meditation. So instead of exercising, you're not stage your rest day, you're gonna listen to a chakra healing music for an hour by yourself okay food journaling all that kind of stuff sunday fun day now sunday fun day the second you get to pick you can either do the dance to the oldies you did last sunday or you can turn your music on and dance your own freestyle for 60 minutes or you can go outside either by yourself with your pet or with your family for a walk for 60 minutes so you're going to start to get more flexibility in what you pick to do because that's the that's the point of this challenge the point of this challenge is to help you help yourself, right? Because you're the warrior doing this. I'm just tech support. As I told someone in a comment, I'm literally just tech support. You guys are the ones doing this. All right. Now, as you can see, again, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper as time goes on. Okay. Now, this is my favorite challenge thus far. And this is coming in on what day is this? This is coming in on day 14. Okay. So look three people in the eyes today and smile at them and or handwrite a note to someone you admire. You can either sign this note or keep it anonymous, but this needs to be handwritten, no typing. Either mail the letter to the person or place it in their mailbox or on the car windshield. Tell this person how much you admire them, how special they are to, sorry, I meant to say the world, and how grateful you are for them. Let's just fix that right now. After doing this exercise, go back to your journal and answer these questions. One, how did you feel writing the letter to the person you picked? Two, how would you feel if you received a letter like this? Three, did you sign your name or did you leave it anonymous and why? Four, list all the qualities you admire about this person you picked and write to write the letter to and read over these qualities five times. So five times read over them and then have you realized these are actually qualities of yourself that you love. With shadow work, we often focus on the dark side. For example, what annoys us and other people is often qualities of ourselves that we need to work on. However, on the flip side, what we admire and love about others is also the same in us. The light you see in others is the light you have within you too, all right? And so it's going to get even deeper the more you go on. We're gonna get to betrayal, childhood trauma, all that kind of stuff. So. So anyway, that is the gist of it, guys. And again, if you want to be entered into the raffle, please email me at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com. Just put your name, your first and last name, and I'm in. And don't expect to get an email back from me. I'm waiting to respond to all of the emails until the end of this week. That helps me stay organized because I got a lot, I got a lot to organize. So with my channel, with being guests on other channels with the yoga course we have coming up, all that kind of stuff. I have a lot to try to keep organized. So I'm not gonna respond right away. Once I'm ready to send out the template, that's when I will sit down and just email everyone the template, okay? But I need to have your name so that I can enter you into the raffle. And once again, if you don't wanna be entered into the raffle, then I will be placing 
the challenges the, the night before the new the new day starts i will put the challenge up on my community tab so you can always follow along there too and i'm so excited guys we are gonna rock the world and i'm super excited because i'm gonna be filming with someone really cool tomorrow here in florida so be looking out for that as well and i will talk to all of you guys soon bye guys